What is the digital root of 666? Nice. Demonic nice. Solid. And when we last left off yesterday, it was our first episode of the Nonary Games, uh, our poor boy Junpei is in a little bit of a tight spot, floating on the ocean in a giant tin can that is leaking. You can hear that in the background. You can just hear that nice, distant, like, oh shit, everything's gone wrong. We escaped from our room, which was locked on the inside, because someone's a total asshole. We are going to find that asshole, and we are going to punch them in the face over and over and over. That's our goal today. That's the goal for life. Uh, in the meantime, hopefully we'll make some friends and we'll, we'll, we'll get ourselves into some more mysterious troubles. Again? Again? Ow. With the ship? Buddy. So you got out of yours. Uh, my head. I think that there's going to be more people Wait, since I think, I think we were actually legitimately like over. number five. I wonder if everyone else that's here got the same exact puzzle. I felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. Have you been flushed down a toilet, Junpei? Well, Where? What is your life? Morning, what guess. was your job? Who is who is the Junpei? He's tough, he's smart, he's not afraid, and he's kidnapped. Current status, not trapped. He is uh, flushed now. Am I in a hallway? Yeah, where are you, man? Your life has taken a turn. Oh. A door. Another door. That's not necessarily a good thing. Get your waiters on, kids, because we're going to be in this garbage for a while. Let me go. Let it go. Let it go. Go into oh, yes. the Disney Castle world. Oh, thank God. What? What the hell? Yeah, why is it dry out here? This is the inside of a ship? Could be. Why not? Well, it's fancy. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a cluster. Wait, what the hell? Uh. Oh, close, the close the door. 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 June pay. Shit. Shit. Okay, I, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> he did close the door. <laughs> uh, He's laughing, get it? Because of all the decks are the sea deck, because they're all in the sea, right? Thanks, Junpei. Come on. You don't have enough time to enjoy this joke, Junpei? Hurry. Uh, a deck's next. Well, I would hope so. Unless you hit a mezzanine. What? Hey, uh, I got a lot of questions, uh, and I hope y'all can answer them. First of all, who are you in the yellow jumpsuit? That's my first question. First question is, who is that? Who is that big hunk of change right there? This guy looks like he has seen some shit, and I want to hear all of his nice stories over a roasting campfire. He seems like the chillest guy. People, people humans. Whoa! Yeah, party over here. Party on the A deck. I also want to know. I also want to know. Why is this boy's jacket too small? It's like a size too small, and he should probably have bought a dip bigger one. I think. And also, where does that cord lead to? Does that cord lead to a secret, like, battery pack? Is he a robot? I think maybe that guy's a robot. First impressions, dude's a robot. And that's the scientist behind the robot. Um. Okay. We've got four, five, six, seven. Seven people here. Uh, um, yeah. Hey guys. You guys having as much an issue as I do? Hey, you've got a digi device. Okay, good. We're on the right path. Uh, a, a, a dancer. Hi. No, I'm not. You better get moving. 
Oh, uh, well, okay then. <laughs> she is literally too horny to think all of a sudden. Silver hair? I like your scarf, and I like your gloves, and I want to cosplay as you. Hi, Silver. One of us. It's no use. It's me, Silver the Hedgehog. What? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There Who's are this two doors, but neither of them will open. You look like you're straight out of Guilty Gear. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! That's nine of us, then. I saw eight. All of the cards are in hand. <sighs> this guy knows too much. He's Wait. a robot. They're gone. Hmm. <sighs> Why does this always Just happen to us? What is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. I don't know any of my- uh, any of you guys' friends. Huh? Uh, huh. <laughs> the, question mark, question mark, question mark, guys. Junpei has literally no way to classify this person. They are too regular for him. This He's like, this man is too normcore. I give you no designation. You are question mark face. Unless he doesn't live long enough to get a name. That would suck. Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? Hey Mountain. Didn't you hear him? Yeah. Uh, the doors on A deck are no good. Bad doors. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now Okay. Well I came from C deck, so uh hey, man, you can mark that, that one out. Dangerous. Huh? Yeah, there we go. Five, four. four. And this one says. Wow. Five. Same. The room I woke up and had a number on the door just like that. Okay, so maybe everyone did have the exact same puzzles. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room. Okay. Me too. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. That's kind of important, dog. You think I don't know that lady? <laughs> don't dismiss this. This is really important to me. Open. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Uh, probably because it's got a puzzle attached to it. Away. We've already been over this like two times now. <laughs> Stop. Stop doing the thing, you guys. There's nine of us. And all nine of us solved an intricate puzzle. I think all nine of us can put our heads together and solve 81 puzzles at that speed. That big, I think. There must be some other way. Like we're we're all twice as efficient as each other now that we're together, right? Hopefully. Just like the next That's not actually how project management works. So that means this door is probably locked too. But still. <laughs> I like my Junpei senses are tingling. Okay, knob on the door. Are there any other doors? He'd scarcely taken a step. Junpei? When, at the top of the stairs, next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw numero nueve. Victim number nine. It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. Huh, funny thing. This girl next door. He froze, unable to look away from her face. Junpei, really, now is not the time. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equal. <laughs> he wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. He's he's not flushed anymore. No, current status of Junpei is now... Very sexed up. There's another reason. So what's the actual reason that you couldn't take your eyes off the girl? Oh, Junpei recognizes her. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew he knew he'd met her before. Maybe these guys were all part of something. Like, you know, like the first season of Digimon. The first, <laughs> where they all go to summer camp one year. And then they all have to, like, know each other for the rest of their lives. Huh? Hey. Do I recognize you? as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. Maybe we were displaced out of time and space. Yeah. No, no, it's probably not that. It's like a notebook situation. Now we finally see each other. 
Moving on instinct, Junpei le leapt to catch her, or so he thought. But she drop kicked him. Oh. oh. Atomic drop kick! Schoolboy! Danger, danger! Suplex! Yeah. And he's she's got him down for the pin. That is a three count right there. He was flat on his back. She had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did. And her face suggested she still had not fully recovered from seeing him. The ship stopped shaking. My whole world stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete. A thick, muffling blanket. At last... Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? Uh, <laughs> okay. First off, yes, it is I, Jumpy. That's the first thing, of course. Jumpy, Jumpy. Her words echoed through Junpei's head, and suddenly, his memory uh, returned. Akane. Akane, all right. Let's talk about Akane. She's got long hair. Side pony. And... A flower in her hair. She is definitely girl next door. Not literally, but like figuratively, we've got girl next door thing going on. Bingo. Bingo. Schoolmate. Akane Kurashiki. Just note that in my notes. She and Junpei had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school for six years. So they went through, like, what? Elementary and middle school together? What are you doing on the ship? All being a grown woman now. Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. God, dude, once again, back to... Immediately super horny. Her feelings had... Thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. A cough. Cough, cough. And please send us back to reality. I ain't here for this soap opera because I think I'm gonna do something awful to get this girl killed. I'm gonna screw this up real bad. Oh, they really like us. What? Zero. All right. Let's meet Zero. They are... Who's the guy from Saw? Jigsaw. We should give him a last name also. Zero Jigsaw Jabroni. Full title. Hi. I am Zero Jigsaw Jabroni, and I'm captain of the ship. Did you invite us here? Did you invite us here? Is... Last episode we said if, if if this isn't consensual that it's not a game. If we got invited. If we got invited, then maybe it is consensual. Hey, what the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. Gee, give me at him. Let me get him. Hothead, silver, I got it. What do you mean to do to us? Lion, a little more cool headed, asking thoughtful questions. Why couldn't I afford a better speaker system on this show? Forgive the warbling. Okay, you said that, but you have not said that to literally everyone. Prefacing that by saying that other people know this? Dancer doesn't know it, or so she says. What the hell's that? Mountain doesn't know it, or so he says. Maybe I should have checked my pockets before I did anything else. What is he talking about? Yeah, what is this nonary game? Something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. There's been multiple games, I mean I think. 
Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Oh, 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 oh. You mind terribly reading it to us, young man. On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. Okay. We will call them the numbered doors. Okay, so first off for the Nonary Games. Numbered doors. Check. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to Which means there's more, there's at least five doors. Numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, oh. the door will open. So what if I just go up to the door with my five and open the five door? Can I just walk in? Only those who have opened the door may pass through. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I can. If I'm alone, I can just open up the five door because I got the five bracelet. But if anyone else wanted to come in... Oh, man. If anyone else had to come in, they would have to be a four and a one or a two and a three or some kind of combination in thereof to actually open up this door. So this four door, I can't open it. But if I am with the person whose number is eight, we can open it and so on and so forth. Okay. Are, however, okay. Limits. Me and seven and one could open that door together to open the number four. That's cool. Five people can okay. Through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. Oh, so, so we got to take these are puzzles. So we got to take down these puzzles together. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. So it's possible. So we can leave the ship alive. It is hidden. That's already much more hopeful than Danganronpa. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Oh. Uh, yeah, the ship is sinking, so does that mean we got a time limit? So we're looking for and the final order was survive. Simple game so far. We're literally in the Titanic. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks, Zero. <sighs> well, it's gonna be a short Let's Play then. <laughs> okay. I hear a bell. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets their wings. I think it's coming that was three tomes, stairs. so three of us are gonna die right now. It's the clock telling us the time. The number of chimes on a clock tells you what time it is, so is it... Nine times, so nine o'clock then? Okay. I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. So we have until 6 a.m. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Well, I mean, technically, if we don't get out by 6 a.m., then we'll just drown. <laughs> like... There's not really any other way around that. Unless he literally triggers all the doors to open or, or floods the cabin of the ship himself. Hey! Themself. You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Silver, Silver, not now. Silver, we don't uh, need this right now. We don't need this kind of rhetoric. We don't need this kind of discussion. Huh. <sighs> Junpei, you better trust this mountain of a man. None of the rest of them. I don't trust any of the rest of them. Uh, I have way too many questions. Well, we got nine hours to ask to answer all those questions. In the meantime, in the meantime, I think 
maybe now is a good time to zero. take a break. We can start asking like, who is Zero? Game. What is going on here? Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us? Or Junpei, Junpei, like chill, this? chill, chill, chill. How about next time we get together tomorrow and we advance more in the Nonary game? We've got nine hours from this point, I'm assuming, which is kind of nice of them. The first hour is a freebie. The first game's free. Um, I think there's nine of us. We could solve, we could get through a couple of these doors. I'm wondering if they have killer traps behind them. That's kind of what I'm excited for. The first one, not so much explicit on the whole killer trap thing other than, hey, hurry along or you're gonna drown kind of thing. Um, that was like a five minute puzzle. That personally took me like 20 minutes because I had to fuss around with the whole everything. Why pick me to be part of this insane game? That's what I'm wondering and that's what I want to find out next time. Most important question of all is why, why jumpy? Why is it horny jumpy? That's what I want to know. So next time on RDLP and on the Nonary Games, we're going to find out why jumpy. Why is jumpy so jumpy? Why has he got to be this way? And who is the rest of our cast of characters? All nine of them have shown up at this point. And that's really cool. That was cool. That all happened literally at the same time. Um, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time for more Nonary Games, more RDLP, and more of the business. Yeah.